Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Arizona Real Estate Showcase. Happy Thanksgiving. We are one week out from Thanksgiving, and it is absolutely that time of year for us to get together, stop with all the nonsense that's been going on, get together with family, friends, loved ones, and reevaluate what's important. Uh, Arizona Real Estate Showcase brought to you by Arizona's number one brother and sister team, the Grandin Group, powered by Corcoran Platinum Living right here in beautiful Arizona, covering the entire state. It is fantastic. So uh, this episode, we are going to talk about some uh, Thanksgiving things. Um, again, you know, we do not get into politics on this uh, show, and nor do we want to, but I've got to touch on this just a little bit because everything that's been going on, I've been reading new stuff, and um, you know, right now they're trying to claim that Oh, you got to wear a mask. You got to do this. You know, you can only have 10 people at gatherings, this and that in some states. And some of you that are listening to this podcast, first of all, thank you very much for listening. Make an Arizona Real Estate Showcase, one of the number one real estate podcasts in Arizona. Um, But anyways, hey, I feel for you guys. And I got to tell you, again, I don't want to get into your politics and stuff, but there is no way that you guys are going to be able to let these clown governors dictate how many people you can have over constantly wearing a mask, which don't work. And, um, you know, we got a vaccine on the horizon and then allowing everybody to lie about this. This is something that we all have got to stand together with, especially moving forward in the real estate market. You cannot have government, media, social media dictating how you're going to live your life in one of your new homes, especially one that you've uh, purchased from the Grandin Group over here in Arizona. By the way, uh, we are covering Maricopa County, Pinell County. We are all over the state. We've got a great team. Um, We're getting ready to open a brick and mortar in uh, Prescott. So we're looking right now. So Prescott, Prescott Valley, Mayor, Humboldt, we're coming to you. We've been doing a lot of work up there, but we are going to come there full time. In fact, uh, my sister Stacy, my partner in this, she is uh, purchasing property up there, so she will be up there full time, along with the rest of the team, some of the team, and then covering this area. So again, thanks for making uh, the Grandin Group Arizona's number one brother and sister team. We love working with you, and thank you again for this podcast. All right, my one of my favorite times of year, obviously, as you guys know, especially those of you that have been listening to this, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. I mean, the end of the year is just the best. Uh, part of the year on this, and I absolutely love it. So uh, we are into Thanksgiving, less than a week away. And yes, I've already started decorating for Christmas. I know, just this year, it's it's one of those deals. I just want to get through it, get done, and it looks great. We are having some contests on our internet TV show, The Lockbox, where we'll be going around showcasing some of the great displays that are out there. So there's some good ones. But how to celebrate Thanksgiving while minimizing the risk of COVID-19. Okay, some of you, I'm going to get emails on this. Some of you uh, are going to be like, nope, you can't do this. But the fact of the matter is, if it's your time to go, you're going to go. And um, over here in this family, we're not minimizing anything. Everybody's welcome. We are having a good time. Obviously, you know, you take precautions. You wash your hands and this and that. But... Um, I think most of the listeners on here kind of agree that you, you know we're not going to listen to the media, which has been lying. The other thing is you're getting these doctors that are coming out writing policy for people that, that we elected, and they don't take any responsibility for it. I've got an issue with that. Um, so anyway, so this Thanksgiving, how are you going to minimize the risk with COVID-19? You know, that's up to you. If, if you really want to get into it, have one or two people that serve the food. Make sure everybody keeps their hands washed. But you know what? Get in there. Give hugs. Give kisses. Fist bump. um, Have a good time. You know what? There's going to be many of you that this is the last year you're spending with uh, somebody that's uh, important to you. And do you really want that last memory to be with a mask, covering your face, not being able to hang out with them, talk to them, hug them and stuff? You know what? To me, it's much more important that you get out there and you live life. And um, I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of people coming to our Thanksgiving dinner, and I know some of them may or may not be around next year, and it's important for me to have that memory of them. And I'm not going to worry 
about seeing the last thing I see with them is in a mask. It's just not going to happen. So you know what? I'm going to go out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to stay safe. But you know what? Enough of this nonsense. We There's a vaccine on the horizon. And um, that's how we are going to minimize the risk of COVID-19. And quite honestly, I've known a couple people that have tested for it. Whether or not they had it's a different story. But they tested positive. 24 hours, some aspirin. They were as good as new. And they've been fine. And, in fact, one of them was supposed to be on the show today, but he's tied up at work. So, um, anyways, so some more Thanksgiving. At the beginning of this show, I had a uh, song from Cal Smith, and um, it's called Country Pumpkin. So, it's one of the songs that kind of, um, you know, plays, um, it's a Thanksgiving, I think it's a Thanksgiving song. Why? Because it has the word pumpkin in it and stuff like that. But, really, what it comes down to... Um, you know, we, we have our Christmas songs that we play. We have our Halloween songs. So what are some of the, what should be your playlist for Thanksgiving Day? All right. So you're going to have your guest over. You're going to be eating, hanging out, watching football. But, you know, there there's always a good time to have some um, music playing, maybe while you're eating that big casserole or the turkey. And um, let's not forget the pie. So a list of Thanksgiving songs is filled with some Really great country artists, and that's where you're going to find most of these. So you've got Johnny Cash, Kelly Clarkson, Dolly Parton, Martina McBride, and uh, you know those of you that aren't fans of the country songs, you can go into James Brown, Natalie Cole. They have a list as well. So I'm going to give you a list of a couple songs that I think you might like. Now, obviously, due to um, some of the rules on the social media sites, I can't play these songs all the way out. So you'll have to kind of look them up. But okay. So one of the real popular songs, and, and some of the older people might know it. I highly doubt the younger listeners are going to know. Ray Davies, Thanksgiving Day. It's a good song. Um, thanks for our health. Thanks for our health, uh, hearth. And uh, I've got plenty to be thankful for, all that. So, uh, and Bing Crosby, also the king of holiday music, has, has that song. I've got plenty to be thankful for. So that's another good one you could add on to your uh, playlist. Mary Chapin Carpenter, who is an excellent country singer, been around a very long time, Thanksgiving song. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good one to play. So if you're looking to, you know, try to get, you know, at least an hour of music. Uh, the other band that many of you probably don't know is The Shins. And they've got a song called Young Pilgrim, which is absolutely perfect, especially for you more traditionalists for Thanksgiving. Now, the song you heard at the beginning from Cal Smith, Country Bumpkin, I've, I've listened to that song since I was younger, and it's been one of my favorites. It's um, about a, a guy who meets this gal in a bar room, and the relationship goes from there, and it goes through the life of her, but being stated as a pumpkin. So they meet, hello, Country Bumpkin, House of Frost down the pumpkin, as a young person, and then as she slowly... Uh, you know, has a baby, and then finally reaches death, the song kind of reflects on it. So actually, if you listen to it, it's one of those, you know, if you're sentimental at all, it's going to bring tears to your eyes. But it is a really good song. Now, for you Beatles fan, Wild Honey Pie. How many of you have heard that one? It's been a while. It's a very short song. It's only like a minute long. But um, for the Beatles fans, there, there's, there, there's that song. Sorry, I can't even talk today. Uh, another good one, Cooking Up Something Good by Mark DeMarco. And again, many of you older people are going to know this. So now here's one that everybody will know just because this guy is a uh, total classic. Um, we got two of them. We got Bob Dylan, Turkey Chase. And then we also have James Brown, Dude the Mashed Potato. So again, this is a great set list for those of you that are having a party, whether you're indoor or outdoor. Oh, speaking of that, for those of you thinking about moving to Arizona or those of you that are here, it's probably going to be 78 to 80 degrees on Thanksgiving Day here. Perfect day to do host, uh, host Thanksgiving out by the pool. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, the next few days we have record heat for this time of year, meaning it's going to be like 90. Yesterday was 95. It was crazy. But... Uh, for those of you that want to have a little more upbeat stuff, uh, we've got uh, Ray Charles' Sweet Potato Pie, as I mentioned. 
And then, um, then you've got your Thanksgiving songs about gratitude. And so Natalie King has one of the best ones called Be Thankful. And um, also Johnny Cash has the Thanksgiving Prayer. These are excellent songs. For those of you that are into music, have your kids listen to these. It's amazing the music, how it's changed over the years. And honestly, I just don't think they make music like this anymore. Then you've got William Devon, Be Thankful for What You Got. You've got Otis Redding. Everybody knows who Otis Redding is. I want to thank you. Uh, great song, by the way, by uh, the late Otis Redding. And then Kelly Clarkson's got her song, Thankful. So, um, you know, and then, of course, you can get into Celine Dion, who's got a song called Thankful. And some people may or may not think this is a um, holiday song, especially a Thanksgiving song. But for those of you that are in the 70s and 80s, John Denver, Thank God I'm a Country Boy. Great song, and what a great way to just bring in the spirit of Thanksgiving. So actually, I really love that one. And then this one is actually for an a, a old friend of mine and stuff. She lives in Montana now. This is her absolute favorite singer in the world, Merle Haggard, um, thanking the good Lord for Thanksgiving. So that song will be played for you on Thanksgiving Day, and uh, she knows who she is. And then, of course, for those of you that are more modern, you've got Martina McBride's Blessed. That can be any time of year, but it's really good for Thanksgiving. And then, um, of course, you've got Keith Urban, the thank you song. So, anyways, that is a good list that you can put together. Oh, and I can't forget a, uh, a personal friend, I should say, an acquaintance. Met a couple times when we were doing shows. Uh, Sarah Evans, I Could Not Ask For More. Great song. It really brings the uh, spirit of thank- Thanksgiving together. And Sarah Evans is a fantastic, actually one of my favorite female singers out there. So anyways, so there's a list. I've got more for you and stuff. If you, if you want them, just uh, shoot me an email and we'll get things taken care of. Um, oh, and one other one that we can't forget because um, her show is coming up on Netflix. Dolly Parton, Code of Many Colors, is another one you should add to your list. So getting back to... Thanksgiving. You've got your song list. You've got your food list. And I I actually posted on our site a list of food that needs to be uh, picked up at the store. And it's huge. It's like 20 million calories. So um, are you decorating for Thanksgiving? Or do you just decorate from Halloween and then mix Thanksgiving in with Halloween and go to Christmas? So this year I've asked several people, um, are you decorating for Christmas prior to Thanksgiving? And I've got to tell you, out of the 20 people I've asked, <clears throat> probably 13 or 14 are decorating for Christmas. So their house is going to be decked out and ready to go uh, next next week. So Arizona Real Estate Showcase, I know you guys want to hear about the houses. And so we are one of the top markets in Arizona to buy a house. All right. So if you're thinking about ho, ho, home for the holidays... Arizona is one of the top markets to buy. We are still in a seller's market. Now, it's sort of cool in a little bit. I don't want to give you the false hope that you're going to go pick up that half million dollar house for 400000 because that is not happening. But um, the, it, we're starting to get a, more, a little more realistic with the prices. And you're going to see, um, you're not going to see drops, but you're going to see more realistic pricing, which is going to bring more people um, to the market, which is going to have a little better um, offers for the sellers. In, in addition, the rates are so low that you can actually buy more house. So, is the holidays a good time to buy a house? And this is a question you're going to get some that say yes, some that say no. I absolutely 100% think it's the best time to buy a house. So, there is nothing better purchasing a house, you're busy, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. But I got to tell you, there is nothing better than having that home-cooked meal in your house, moving your boxes in, getting the house ready for the holidays, and being able to spend that first Christmas. Now, it's, it's a different feeling from moving in March, waiting for the holidays to come up, compared to moving in November, December, waiting for the holidays. It's just, it's a totally different feeling. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. But it's a great time to really get in there. Uh, end of the year, we do lose three weeks out of the year. You lose the week before Thanksgiving, essentially. And then, of course, Christmas to New Year's. So um, if you're considering purchasing a house, make sure that you got a great title company that's going to be able to um, 
push this paperwork through and make sure you got a good lender that's working that you can get a hold of off hours. And, um, and then, of course, prior to closing on that house, go get those Christmas trees, get those Christmas decorations, uh, Hanukkah decorations, whatever you celebrate. And the day you close, before you move that box in, get those things set up. It is such an amazing feeling. And I get people telling us all the time, you know, they, they, um, they're just so excited. It makes the holiday so much better. Plus, it's a memory that's going to stick with you forever as you move into your new house. So, so top markets for holiday sales over the holidays. I don't agree with this list that was sent to me earlier by Realtor.com. They're trying to say it's uh, you know New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Maine, Missouri. Come on. You know what? Everybody's moving out. Arizona is a state that doesn't have a big lockdown. Uh, everything's open. People are out shopping, having a good time. You can hit the gym. Um, you can go to the stores. And you're allowed to have more than 10 people over at your house Thanksgiving. Arizona is one of the hottest markets in the country. Prescott is an incredible market, which is just north of Phoenix. So for those of you thinking about coming out to Arizona, call us up. We'll send you a list. It's a great time. Come out here and visit us. It's, it's a fantastic time. And um, so... As we get ready to close up for Thanksgiving, there are, uh, I mean, there's so many different ways to do things. Are you a family that uh, has a traditional Thanksgiving where you have 20 people at the table and the turkey's out there? Or does everyone just kind of build a plate and then sit wherever and watch football? That's one of the great things about Arizona, being so casual. You can have it all. You can, you can even mix it in your house. I can tell you at ours, there's a table that seats 10. There's about 30 people that show up. And so the, the ones that want to sit at the table and enjoy it, great. Uh, the other ones hang out by the pool or uh, on one of the loungers because it's a, just a great time. And we're in shorts and T-shirts, which is even better. Um, and then there's different kinds of candles and stuff. Make sure that you do not forget the fragrances. The, you know, I know the turkey and the pies and the stuffing are going to smell up your house. So make sure that when you're out there um, making all that stuff, make sure you get a good candle that um, benefits the smells, that kind of complements the smells that are going in your house. Cinnamon, apple, um, pumpkin spice, those are all good mixtures that mix in with that incredible turkey you're going to be making. And, um, yeah, oh, one other thing, I've asked to mention this, this from one of the neighbors that does not put up lights. So I'm not sure he listens to the podcast, so it uh, doesn't really matter. But... Christmas lights, holiday lights, Hanukkah lights, they're a blast, but sometimes your neighbors want them turned off. So for those of you that live in neighborhoods, if you're not going to leave your lights on all night, try to be courteous and have them off by, before midnight so they're not shining in your neighbor's window. Or just make sure your lights aren't shining in someone else's window, and that way you won't have any issues with, um, with uh, your neighbors not wanting your signs. Anyways, I, hey, I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. The um, I know this is kind of more just rambling and stuff, but it's important you have a great Thanksgiving. Seriously, take consideration of um, and, and count your blessings. This year of all years, for many of us, have never been through anything like what's been going on in 2020. Um, you know, sit back. Don't argue with anybody because you're not going to change your mind. But for those of you that Think, every single one of you, let me rephrase this. Every single one of you can make a difference. How do you want your 2021 to be? How do you want your kids to grow up? You've, you've got to, you know what? I, I know we're busy. We've got other things to do. I spent the past uh, six, seven months working on different campaigns here to try to make a difference. And some of them worked, some of them didn't. Now we're seeing that uh, a couple of them with some of the propositions may have been frauded. So, you know what? I, I know you've got better things to do, but you've got to get involved. You have to get involved. One, for your own sanity. Two, for your kids and your family. And then for your community. If you want your community to be the way you envision it, like in Christmas Vacation, which is a great movie. It's also a great Thanksgiving movie. And so is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. But let me I digress. You, you have to just put that letter together, send it to your local senator, um, and stay engaged. It is so important. And you know what? Stand your ground. If you really, truly believe in something, stand your ground. Um, if you, you know, and don't let people tell you you can't do something. At it, it, uh, church this past week, it was kind of about people telling you what you can and can't do. 
for those of you that are out there renting right now or thinking you can't buy a house, you're not making enough money, you're incorrect. You, you were able to do this, and we can help you do it. Part of having a, just an incredible life is not about how much money you make. And what you, it's, it's how you live your life with your friends and family. So if a house is in your future, whether it's a condo, townhome, single-family home, I'm telling you, it's a life changer. I, I've had, we sold a, a young kid this year, 18 years old. He just turned 18. His parents helped him buy a house, condo. And um, I got a call from him the other day. And he was like, you know, Jason, I, I never thought in a million years that I have to do my own laundry. I have to do my own dishes. I have to buy my own dishes. I have to buy my own um, furniture, clothes, do my wash. And he said the first week in the house, or the first couple weeks, he went through his clothes and they were all dirty. And he had to be at work the next day. So he had to wear dirty clothes to work. And he works in an office. And the, the amount of responsibility that comes over you. Uh, while it doesn't sound that appealing, I'm certainly not making it sound that appealing. He was just really thankful and said, you know what? I just uh, appreciate it. And I can't believe how much my parents did for me prior to this. And so now he tells me that he spends one day a week making sure his laundry's done every night doing dishes, making sure the house is clean. And he said, you know, now he has 10 hours a week that's dedicated just to maintenance. And you know what? While it sounds like a pain, it's an awesome feeling. So for those of you thinking about buying a house, get out here to Arizona. It's a hot market. The Grandin Group, powered by Corcoran Platinum Living, is going to help you find the perfect house. We're Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. We are also full-time agents for your full-time life. Let us send you a list here. Let's make this special. And buying a house should be exactly like that. It should be a special time. You should have a good time doing it. And it's just one more thing to put on your plate at Thanksgiving of things to be grateful for. Hey, we send every single one of you out much love. Again, take care of your families. Take care of your friends. Have them over. Give everybody a hug, kisses. Thanks again for making Arizona Real Estate Showcase one of the top podcasts in Arizona. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. We will be back next week. I might even surprise you with a pre-Thanksgiving one, but this is our Thanksgiving edition. You guys have a great one. Happy Thanksgiving, and thank you again from the Grandin Group, Arizona Real Estate Showcase. And uh, don't forget that list. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everybody.